ninjas, welcome to Yoga with Dojo Cat. Today I'm gonna take you through a yoga flow for digestion. We're gonna be holding some twists and doing some poses to massage the internal organs and do some really deep breathing just to improve our gut health. It's really important. This is a great routine to do first thing in the morning or maybe in the evening if maybe you ate too much. <laughs> let's get into it. All right, let's begin by inhaling our hands to the sky and exhaling right into a forward fold. You can choose to keep a bit of a bend in your knees if you like. Uh, other options, you can wrap your arms around the back of your knees and just pull yourself in, just resting your upper torso on the tops of your thighs. Or if you like, you can straighten your legs and just let your hands hang under your shoulders. Let's just get a little bit of swaying motion here. Nodding our head yes. And shaking our head no. I mean, we are focusing on the gut today, but I always like to sneak a little extra in, you know? I'm a total body girl. Let's take a big step and point our toes at a 45 degree angle, and then we're gonna sink into Malasana Garland Squat. So in this pose, I'll just turn to face you here. Your weight is gonna be in your heels. Try to keep a nice long spine. And if you'd like to deepen the pose, you can uh, press your elbows into uh, your inner thighs here and just widen that stretch. Really think about taking some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Perfect. One more deep breath. And you can release this pose. We'll come onto our knees for hero pose. Just sitting our bums back on our heels. Just taking one second here to get grounded. We're going to move into a frog variation. So we're gonna clench our hands into fists. I know a lot of us are martial artists, um, so we're used to having our thumb on the outside like that, right? But for this pose, we're actually gonna take our thumbs and move them to the outside just because we're putting pressure on our hands and we don't wanna squish our thumbs. So we're gonna take our fists and place them on our lower abdomen on either side of our belly button. And we're gonna take a deep breath in, really think about filling that chest and then all the way down to your belly, really expanding the waistband of your pants. And then as you exhale, folding forward over top of those fists, bringing your forehead to the mat. And then again, focusing on those really deep breaths. This is gonna put a lot of pressure on your abdomen. It's almost like, like rolling on a ball or uh, on a foam roller, um, except you're just using your fists and focusing on those internal organs. So we're going to stay here for a few breaths. Three more deep breaths, in through the nose, and at the top, exhaling through your mouth. And one more. Perfect, you can lift yourself up. Let's just take a second to roll those wrists out and do a quick body scan, see how you feel after that pose. 
It can be pretty intense. And we'll sweep our hands behind us, interlock our fingers, and then we'll fold forward again, bringing that forehead to the mat, fingers to the sky. Again, putting a focus on filling your lungs all the way up and then breathing out slow through the mouth. One more deep breath. Perfect, and you can release out of that pose. From here, we're gonna go onto our bums, extend our legs out in front of us. We'll move into our first twist. So we'll take our right leg and just bring it over top of our left leg. Inhale those hands up to the sky. And on your exhale, twisting over to the right, looking over that right shoulder, using the elbow to hook into your knee to get yourself a deeper twist. Inhale those hands back to the sky and exit. We're going to go to the other side for kind of a reverse twist. I'm just holding on to my right ankle and just looking over my left shoulder. I've got this lovely scratch in my wall. <laughs> I did have a plant that was covering it, but I don't know what happened to it. It just kind of like died on me. I'm trying to like, I cut the ends off and I'm trying to save what's left of it, but she ain't what she used to be. <laughs> and then release back to center. We're gonna uncross that leg and just go to the other side. So left foot over top of that right leg. Inhale those hands to the sky and exhale, twisting over that left shoulder. Keep that focus on those deep breaths, really expanding that belly. And inhale those hands back to center. Exhale, twisting over to the right. release the twist, unwind those legs. And we'll just bring those heels up to our growing for bound angle. Think about keeping a nice long spine here. So you can either grab onto your feet and just lean forward, or if you like, you can hold on to your ankles and just press down. It's up to you, whatever you like. And then on your next exhale, Folding forward, hinging at the waist, still trying to keep that spine nice and long. Almost trying to bring our nose to our toes. If you're not that flexible, that's okay. Just working on it. Any little stretch is helpful. And release the pose. We're gonna cross our ankles and come over top onto our hands and knees. And of course, you guys know I love my cat-cow flow. It is my favorite. It feels so good on the back and it's great for getting the body moving and it's gonna help you with that uh, digestion. So let's inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the tailbone and our chin to the sky. 
And then on the exhale, rounding the spine, tucking our chin to our chest. Inhaling, expanding our body. And exhaling, contracting it. And then just continuing using your breath as a guide for that movement. If you want to do some more organic movement, you are welcome to do that. And we'll do one more. And perfect. From here, let's just bring our palms in front of us a little bit and then we'll roll down into Cobra. Really stretching out that abdomen, lifting our chin to the sky, getting a nice back bend as well. And think about rotating your heels inwards. into child's pose so widen those knees let those big toes touch rest that forehead on the mat beautiful so we're going to come all the way down onto our backs We'll extend our arms out in front of us and lower ourselves one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, no rush. <sighs> From here, we'll straighten that left leg and bring that right leg into our chest, grabbing onto that knee and hugging that knee towards us. Let's also just take this opportunity while we're here, we might as well just roll out that ankle, going in one direction and then the other. that left knee to meet the right knee and we'll just give ourselves a big hug and switch so we'll straighten our right leg and then hug that left knee into our chest and rotate that ankle going in one direction you might hear mine cracking <laughs> and the other And then bring that right knee to meet the left knee. Give ourselves another hug. And this time we're gonna sway side to side. Just massaging that lower back. Okay. All right. We're gonna plant those feet on the ground, bring our arms out into a T. Lift our bum, drop it over to the left, and then drop our knees over to the right. And then look over that left shoulder. You are free to stay right here with these stacked knees, or if you want to deepen the twist, just straighten that top leg. Again, let's go back to that deep breathing where we're really thinking about filling up our chest and our belly. So that means taking nice, deep, slow breath and then exhaling nice and slow out through your mouth. Take three more deep breaths. And one more. Good. 
and you can release the twist coming back to center and we'll go to the other side so pick your bum up drop it to the right drop your knees over to the left option also if you have the space to straighten that leg looking over that right shoulder twists are the perfect way to help you with your digestion if you've eaten too much or if you're just trying to get things moving <laughs> I'm so sorry uh, obviously I am a child and it makes me laugh okay and three more deep breaths here. hands down to our sides. I'm just going to scooch down because I'm going to need some space for this uh, pose. This pose is totally optional. Um, I'll give you an option where you can stay and then an option if you want to advance the pose. I'm going to pop our bum off the mat and at the same time get our hands underneath our lower back and then brace our, our lower back with our hands and our elbows against the mat. All right, so really pop those knees up and then get those hands underneath that lower back. All right, if you wanna stay right here, this is perfect. Inversions are really good to help with digestion along with twists as well, because I mean, you're folding up your, your internal organs. So you can stay right here if you want. If you want to progress the pose into full plow, we're just going to bring our toes all the way to the mat over our head, tucking those chin, tuck, those chins, <laughs> tucking our chin to our chest. release this pose just pick up one toe at a time and really slowly roll out <sighs> if you want to just take a second to do a body scan and see how you feel after that <sighs> from here bring the soles of your feet together into a reclined butterfly and we'll put one hand on our belly and one hand on our heart we're just going to let gravity do the work here, pulling our thighs down to the mat if they're not there already. If this is uncomfortable for you, you always have the option to use a block or a pillow or something. So this is our last pose for today and I'm going to take you through a breathing exercise. The breathing exercise we're going to do is one where we focus on filling our lungs up all the way and then we're going to hold it for 10 seconds or as long as uh, you're able to and then exhale all the way until your belly is completely empty and then hold for 10 seconds or as long as you can. And then again, go through that process of filling up the belly, holding, exhaling, holding. Holding your breath can not only increase your lung capacity and who as an athlete doesn't want more cardio, right? But it's really good for your cardiovascular system and it's a great tool to aid in relaxation. So, all right, so let's fill our lungs up all the way to the top. And when you get to the top, hold your breath. And exhale slowly out through your mouth, 
all the way until your belly lowers and there's no air left. And hold. Inhale all the way to the top. And hold your breath. We'll do one more cycle of this and then you can just continue on with your regular breathing. And again, let's just do a quick body scan just to see how we're feeling after that. Start at the crown of your head and work your way down. Relax your forehead and your jaw. Let your shoulders come down and away from your ears. about how your belly is feeling after those deep massages and twists and all that deep breathing. Relax your glutes and your calves and your toes. If you like, you can just stay in your Shavasana and pause this video. Or if you are ready, that is it for today. I hope this helped you with your uh, digestion. I hope that you're feeling better. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Join my little dojo. I'd love to have you. And I will see you guys next time. Os.